the current necessary to produce hydrogen gas at the rate of 1 cc per second at STP from acidulated water is. First, uh, equivalent volume of equivalent volume of hydrogen gas is equal to molar volume by valency. Molar volume is volume occupied by 1 mole of the gas at STP is 22.4 liters or 22,400 cc. So, 22,400 cc by valency of H2 hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas each hydrogen valency is 1, 2 hydrogens H2. So, valency is 2. So, molar volume of the hydrogen gas is 11,200 cc is a molar volume of the hydrogen gas. Now, we can uh, calculate the current here per 1 second. Uh, before seeing that, uh, for one point we have to remember here, that is, when 1 Faraday of electricity is passed, 1 Faraday or 96,500 coulombs of electricity is passed, the amount of the substance deposited or liberated is equal to its equivalent weight or equal to its equivalent volume. Here hydrogen gas is liberating. So, when 1 Faraday or 96,500 coulombs of electricity is passed, the volume of the hydrogen liberated is equal to its equivalent volume. That is 11,200 cc of hydrogen gas is liberated. So, Q is equal to I into T. Q is 96,500 is equal to I into per second 1. So, I is equal to current is 96,500 amperes. So, the volume of the hydrogen gas liberated is 11,200 cc when 96,500 amperes of current is passed. So, when 96,500 amperes is passed, the volume of the gas liberated is 11,200 cc. For 1 cc, how much amount of the current is required? So, x is equal to 96,500 by 11,200. If you divide, you will get the value here 8.61 amperes. So, the current necessary to produce hydrogen gas at the rate of 1 cc per second at STP from the acidulated water is 8.61 amperes.